Jackson. We're gonna start with a basic takeoff. Hold the throttle all the way down to pick up speed, and pull back on the stick to take off. You can retract your landing gear once you're a safe distance above the ground. Congratulations, pilot! You are now airborne. Now, navigate through those checkpoints marked on your radar, and we can move on to the next lesson. What the hell was that? We're gonna start with a basic takeoff. Hold the throttle all the way down to pick up speed, and pull back on the stick to take off. Congratulations, pilot! You are now airborne. Now, navigate through those checkpoints marked on your radar, and we can move on to the next lesson. Then, I'll talk you through it. 
A knife is one of the harder moves. You'll have to keep your wings steady and use your rudders to maintain altitude. When I give you the signal, I want you to try to hold a knife edge with your plane. Okay, perform a knife edge. Perfect. Now hold that position. Don't forget to use your rudders to maintain altitude. Level out the plane. Good. Let's see if you can do the same thing on the other side. On my mark, roll your plane over to the opposite side and hold the position. Okay, perform a knife edge on the other side. Obstacle course is designed to teach you how to get better control over I want you to use everything you've learned so far to navigate this course as fast as you can. Watch your altitude though. This is really a test of how low you can go and how well you can maneuver the plane. Lesson, I'm going to teach you how to perform an emergency landing. Remember. Okay, do you see your checkpoint marked on the radar? You're going to practice an emergency landing on that bridge straight ahead. 
Slow your approach as you descend onto the road. If you touch down smoothly, your plane is going to stop pretty fast. Okay, well, that didn't work out so well. Maybe you'll get it on the next... Okay, do you see your checkpoint marked on the radar? You're gonna practice an emergency landing on that bridge straight ahead. Slow your approach as you descend onto the road. If you touch down smoothly, your plane is gonna stop pretty fast. Wow, you kept the plane in one piece. I guess I'd call that a successful landing. loop can be a little disorienting, so we'll see how you do under pressure. Make sure you start this stunt from a completely level position. It's also important to remember to pull your stick back as straight as you can so you don't get thrown into a spiral. Take off and head for the marker at the end of the runway. Some pilots find these moves particularly tricky, so it might take you a few tries. Always make sure your plane is straightened out before you attempt an inside loop. On my mark, pull back hard on the flight stick and hold it. Okay, perform an inside loop. Get ready to level out the plane when you're near the end of the loop. That wasn't too bad for a rookie. Let's try it again. Just like before, steady the plane first, wait for my signal, and then pull back hard on the flight stick. Okay. Perform an inside loop. Get ready to level out the plane when you're near the end of the loop. Now we're talking! You're doing good so far. I think we can squeeze in one more stunt. We'll combine the inside loop with the barrel roll to perform a roll off the top. Start with an inside loop, but only go halfway. When you're fully inverted, then roll the plane over. Now, when I give you the go-ahead, Yank the flight stick back as hard as you can. Ready? Perform a roll off the top. That wasn't quite there. Level out and retry the stunt from the beginning. That wasn't quite there. Level out and retry the stunt from the beginning. Now, roll the plane right side up. Yeah, that was a little sloppy, but passable. Keep practicing. You've been doing so well in the plane, we're going to put you in a helicopter. Let's go on a short tour of the city, and we'll see how well you handle the chopper. Follow the marked course, and remember, I'm looking for maneuverability, but also speed. You're looking great out there! Nicely done! The bridge didn't seem to slow you down at all! That's it! Awesome! Keep it up! You're heading into the city 
now. Watch out for street lights and buildings. You've got this.
work on. Let's try that one again. Hope you aren't afraid of heights. Aim for the target and deploy your parachute when you start getting close to the ground. involves skydiving onto a moving... The drop zone is on the back of a moving truck, so take your time maneuvering with your parachute. It's better to pull your chute early than late. It will give you more time to track the target and try to match its speed. Next 
gate is blue, so you're going to have to fly through it upside down. You've got this. Try to hit them clean if you can. Say no tug jobs under the table.
Big Bird. Michael really better get those lessons. How you doing, Trev? Fine! For a guy who just went into an air base and stole a chopper, are we ready to go on this thing? If it's a heavy lift chopper, then yeah, I'll get everything ready and I'll call you. All right. We're ready to go with everything. Floyd don't think it's a good idea for us to meet at the condo, so maybe we should... Tell Floyd it is a good idea to meet at the condo. It's a great idea. And tell him we need chips and dip and prostitutes.
Screw with me! Uh, um, Procopio Promenade. <laughs>